Heavenly Father, we praise you and we give you thanks for grace and mercy. We ask that we may be faithful stewards of the freedom we have been granted. Let us never forget that we cannot rightfully celebrate the joy of our freedom without remembering the great price that was paid for that freedom. Dear God, you are our strength and shield. We give you thanks today for the devotion and courage of all those who have offered military service for this country. For those who have fought for freedom, for those who have laid down their lives for others, for those who have borne the suffering of mind or body, for those who have bought their best gifts to times of need. God, in your mercy and love, we thank you for their lives. We ask today that you would lift up by your spirit those who are now at war, encourage and heal those in hospitals or mending their wounds at home. Guard those in any need or trouble. Hold safely in your hands all military families and bring the returning troops to a joyful reunion and tranquil life at home. Give to us, your people, grateful hearts and a united will to honor these men and women and hold them always in our love and our prayers until your world is perfected in peace and all wars cease. Through Jesus Christ our Savior, amen. amen. I would like to do something uh, very interesting. I came with a couple of gifts. But I see so many veterans here, I don't know which one to give them to. <laughs> um, so, uh, the best thing to do is to have a quiz. Have a quiz. And I'm going to ask some questions, and like I do at school, <laughs> please raise your hand. is Veterans Day on every year. November the 11th. November the 11th, correct.
observation of Veterans Day. When did this law take effect? Was it 1971, 73, or 75? Oh, wow. 
They have defended America through both the best and the worst of times. They have performed their duties tirelessly with no recognition of fanfare. We have a simple yet heartfelt message. Thank you. Thank you for your unwavering service in peacetime and in war. Here in this nation and throughout the world, they have sought neither fortune nor fame. It was merely a simple love of America and the freedoms we all cherish so much. Soldiers know what it is like to stand guard in the chill of the night while others sleep. They understand the meaning of hardship, standing watch at freedom's frontier, far from their loved ones. It is this devotion to duty that gives us all strength. Looking out on the world, we see our military serving in over 100 countries throughout the world. And the legacy of our veterans continues to inspire our young adults today to answer the call to duty. Speaking of young adults, there are seven individual values that we teach our cadets in JROTC at North Dublin High School. And all young adults who join the Army are taught these uh, values. They're, they're the seven Army values that we say all leaders and followers must possess. They are loyalty, which means to bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution and your peers. Duty, to fulfill your obligations. Respect, to treat people as they should be treated. Selfless service, to put the welfare of the nation before your own. Honor, to live up to all the values. Integrity, to do what is right legally and morally. Personal courage, to face fear, danger, or adversity. We teach that these individual values should be at the core of your character. The more you develop these values in yourself, the more successful you will be in life. As a veteran, I would like to elaborate in just a little more detail of what selfless service means. Selfless service is a willingness to put the welfare of others first, to sacrifice if need be, even to the point of giving up one's life in service to the nation. Selfless service or service before self signifies a proper ordering of your priorities. For example, the welfare of the nation or your community and the organization or the institution to which you are a member come before you, the individual. The focus is on service to your community or to the nation, your family, and yourself. Selfless service should be offered and provided out of a genuine and deep desire to help and be of service to others. The former Sergeant Major of the Army, Richard Kidd, explains selfless service in this quote. We serve our nation, our people, for the devotion, faith, and trust we place in our free democratic system of government. Being in the Army means a total commitment to a higher calling, devotion to duty, and a vows of attitude. For those who have fought for it, freedom has a taste the protected will never know. It is almost uncanny how the three underlying principles of our family and fathers have remained unchanged over the years. Our commitment to be independent, our will to win, and our determination to fight to retain our inalienable rights. We all need to understand our heritage as soldiers in order that we may be better protectors of our nation's sacred trust. We owe our nation, our children and grandchildren the debt of ensuring that each of our soldiers knows what it is they are protecting and guarding and why. Our children and grandchildren will flourish, provided the will is never lost for the cause of freedom. Everyone in our nation must understand why young men, <laughs> why young men and women serve in our armed forces, and why they put up with the hardships of army life and are willing to lay their lives on the line to protect the greatest state.
is so significant that Jesus said, it is the second most important of all God's commandments. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus wasn't creating new law again. He was merely agreeing with and expounding on an Old Testament law. James calls this the royal law to emphasize its supreme value to God. As in so many areas, Jesus is the ultimate example of selflessness. In coming into this world, he made himself nothing and took upon himself the very nature of a servant. Now, as followers of Christ, we ought to have the same mindset. Jesus came not for his own benefit. Excuse me. Uh, the, the, the heat is, is getting to me. <laughs> Jesus came not for his own benefit, but for our, but for ours. He came to minister to us and die for us. Even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Jesus had so much to say about selflessness during his earthly ministry. In the Sermon on the Mount, he goes beyond what some may think as selflessness. Helping a friend, ministering to a spouse, caring for an ill child, etc. Jesus extends selflessness far beyond normal expectations. We are to love our enemies, even and pray for our persecutors. A Christian is expected to love the unlovable, because this is how we become more like God, who gives blessings to everyone. As in so many areas, Jesus is the ultimate example of selflessness. Sometimes we worry about ourselves and our wants rather than wanting to give others our time and our help, but this should not be. We must have empathy for others and put ourselves in someone else's shoes. We don't need a reason to serve and help others, we just do, and we do it expecting nothing in return. Humble yourself and put others before yourself. We must allow God to conform our lives into Christ-likeness. Jesus had it all, but for us he became poor. God humbled himself and for us came down from heaven in the form of man. As believers, we must be a reflection of Jesus. Selflessness results in sacrificing for others, forgiving others, making peace with others, and having more love for others. In closing, we can all be selfless servants in our community and country. How has your life been shaped by your service? Share it with your family. Share it at the grocery store, the school board meeting, or in a high school citizen class. As soldiers, we are trained to be humble, but America wants to hear your story. As you connect with your community and create opportunities to transform veterans, be sure to share your experiences. We will all grow from it. I encourage all of you to volunteer your services to any number of endeavors. Your church, the American Red Cross, Salvation Army, the Little Lady, the Prayer Teacher Organization, your local fire company, or Everlast Association. We can all make a difference in our community. What better way can we as adults show our young children how to live their lives than by serving others? Thank you all once again for being here this afternoon for the celebration with our veterans. May God bless you, our soldiers, our veterans, and may God continue to bless the United States of America. Thank you.